All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. First and foremost, call Halal, Wakabad, Al Yahweh, by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, all praise and glory unto the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh, and the name of the Lord and Savior of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, by Shem and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honest by fellow Akim pushing the word and true faith to see it across the four corners and Shalom to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and doctrine of Great Millstone. It's the brother you die from G Miss Atlanta Church coming with a quick lesson, man. <clears throat> no, this is fresh off the press, man. <laughs> I just had to uh you know, through the spirit, uh take a few minutes out and uh and push this out there. Uh going into I'm gonna I'm gonna title the lesson through the spirit. Antonio Brown calls his GM a cracker <clears throat> and still gets the play question mark. The question mark is because uh like I said this is uh new news right here. And um they're saying that he's on the play, so I don't want, you know, it to go out like I'm saying he's gonna play. This is I'm just reporting the news as far as that. But just that in itself, man, is a sign, another sign that the the power structure of Edom Esau, the so-called white man, so-called white race, is uh, crumbling, man. Because here it is. This guy's getting paid millions of dollars. Millions of dollars, man. Millions of dollars. Right? He's a high-paid a high paid employee or high-paid slave. He calls <laughs> one of his bosses or one of his superiors a cracker, cusses him out, and still gets to play. Still gets the play, man. So I'm gonna go into this, pull a few precepts, and Lord willing, you're edified through the spirit and power of your how about Shimmy How was shy. This is from the ESPN app. Today is uh September 6, 2019. The year of Karagma. This is from the ESPN app. It says Gruden plan is for Brown to play Monday night. Uh Alameda, California. Antonio Brown will suit up and play for the Oakland Raiders in their season opener against the Denver Broncos on Monday night. That's the plan, Coach John Gruden said before Friday's practices. That's the plan, yes. Antonio was back today, Gruden said. We're really excited about that, ready to move on. He's had a lot of, obviously, time to think about things. We're happy to have him back, and I know Raider Nation is excited, is excited about that, too. So here it is, the coach. The coach is um the coach is uh yeah, I just want to make sure they didn't change the article. The coach is actually getting the fans <laughs> to to support this man. This man just called the general manager a cracker, man, called him a cracker, cussed him out because <laughs> he got fined. If you want to know more about what's going on with this guy, just Google Antonio Brown. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to pop up. Antonio Brown, Raiders, fine. Cracker, all that. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of uh, news articles to go into. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go into every you know jot and tittle. But um, it, this guy was fined. All right, he posted the letter of him getting fined. I think it was like $50,000, something around there. Posted the letter of him getting fined on social media. Then... Um, he sees the general manager on the practice field, cusses him, slam out, calls him a cracker, and just you know goes off on this guy, and he still gets to play. Where is white America, man? You, 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 white, you so-called white Americans should be ashamed of yourself for allowing this to happen. If this was, if this was a so-called white man calling uh, um, somebody a nigger. All right, one of the players, a nigga. Oh boy, black Twitter be having at this guy, man. But nah, here it is. Just go to show you, man. The, the spirit is with Jake, man. You know, the spirit is with Jake. And uh, uh, you eat him, I said, finish, man. All right. It says, Antonio is back today, Gruden said. We're really excited. Oh, I already read that slack here. Um, Earlier Friday, a source told ESPN's Josina Anderson that Brown had issued an emotional apology during a team meeting that morning. That apology came on the heels of a confrontation with General General Manager Mike Mayock on Wednesday, in which disparaging the uh, language disparaging language was used by Brown. A source told Anderson, a Raiders sur source confirmed Brown was unhappy with the fine levied by the team and seeing Mayock watching practice. 
walked over and initiated an exchange with the GM. The Raiders source confirmed information from another league source who said Brown called Mayock a cracker and unleashed a barrage of cuss words during the altercation. Um, so yeah, man, I'm, <laughs> I don't know, I'm going out here. It says the source said the confrontation escalated quickly but never appeared to be getting physical and players include including linebacker Vontez Burfick, who that you know he's known as a uh uh he's known as a character himself, man. Vontez Burfick. So you know how to be a situation if Burfick came and <laughs> separated these this guy, man. Attempted attempted to separate Brown from the situation in order to calm him down. Speaking to ESPN's Deanna Rossini on Friday, Brown denied using the word cracker. When addressing Mayock, everything has been blown out of proportion. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know why. I don't know. We got two sources, man. We got two sources coming out against uh, uh, AB, man, saying that uh, the, the, the the crack word was dropped, man. I don't know, AB. <laughs> I don't know, man. It says, uh, he said, I spoke with Mike Mayock one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. And which, like I said, I don't know. I don't know the you know the the as the article reports, you know it's reported by multiple sources that uh, Antonio Brown called his GM a cracker man. So hey, unless you get unless you get a corroborating witness, brother, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, so this is Psalms seventy two. Cause this 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 is this is the point of the matter, man. You know now of course this is a uh, you know. Uh, uh, mainstream news but the thing about it is this is spiritual though man because like i said for us that's in the know for the hopeful elect especially the men who are pushing um the spirit of truth and prophecy from yahweh bashim yahweh shai uh and the holy spirit we understand that this is a uh, uh this is bigger than what it seems man this is a spiritual uh encounter man it's not just about the money or the celebrity or anything like that it's the fact that the spirit of Jake, you know, is um is getting amped up, man. Getting amped up against um the oppressor, in which you know the oppressor, man. All right, Esau, even the so-called white race. Okay, uh, this is Psalm seventy-two. I'm gonna read verses one through four. This is a, a psalm for Solomon. It says, "Give the king thy judgments, O Most High, and thy righteousness unto the king's son. He shall judge thy people with righteousness, and thy poor with judgment." The mountains shall bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor. Okay. And this is a Psalm of Solomon in which coming back into um, um, present and future time. Um, Solomon came back as a uh, Yahweh Shai, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in which Yahweh is going to return again to do just this, man, to, to, to judge the people with righteousness and the poor with judgment, all right, to allow the mountains to bring uh, peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. So even with that, that's happening with um with certain men, you know, who we know, understand to be the elect 144,000 elect of the nation of Israel. <clears throat> Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is using those men as vessels to bring upon this, uh, um, uh, this peace to establish his government okay and to um <clears throat> allow complete righteousness to dwell in uh the the chosen people of the heavenly father which are the israelites man so-called negro latino native americans and the israelite foreigners who are spread abroad man okay um psalm 72 and 4 he shall judge the poor of the people he shall save the children of the needy and shall break in pieces the oppressor so <clears throat> Like I said, you know, Antonio Brown, he's a, you know, he's a multimillionaire, man. He, you know, he has, um, you know, his worldly consolation on this side. But, but for, you know, for the rest of us, <laughs> you know, we're, we're not, we're not rich necessarily in earthly um, and worldly things, but we're rich in the spirit, man, you know, and um, Lord willing, we continue to endure and to stand for righteousness and believe in Yahweh, Shai, Wahar, Chakwadash, and the Holy Spirit. 
you know, um, until the end, man, we're going to be saved by our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right? And a part of him saving us is him also breaking breaking to pieces the oppressor, man, which is Esau, Eden, the so-called white race, and all these other heathen nations that have us um, in subjugation, you know? Um, from there, I'm going to go to the book of Job 27, Job 27, um, verse 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high in the heritage of oppressors. So the heritage of oppressors, because who who has oppressed the entire world, but mostly, <clears throat> but mostly heavily oppressed the uh, the Israelites, man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners spread abroad. It's been Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Job 27 and 13. This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high in the heritage of oppressors. Which, which they shall receive of the Almighty, of the Almighty. <coughs> Excuse me. If their children be multiplied, it is for the sword. See, so all you Edomites out here with your kids, you don't, you don't understand, but you're gonna learn very, very soon. All right, that you have not been put here to grow and prosper forever, man. Uh, America will fall. America will burn in thermonuclear uh, destruction, man. Thermonuclear fire. <laughs> You and your offspring were uh, were multiplied uh, to get put to death, man. All right, on this side, or, or period. Okay, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. So, <clears throat> no matter uh, uh, how how hard you try to uh, 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 hold on to to your wicked to your wicked system in society and ideologies and false gods and false powers. It ain't gonna work. It is gonna be nothing that you can do to satisfy uh, 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 Jake and Israel, all right, who are in their right mind. Here it is. They they paid this man like like I don't even know the number. Man. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Like fifty million dollars, something like that. I'm just going off the top, you know. I, I, it may be slightly off, but they gave him like thirty million dollars in guaranteed money, and it still it still wasn't enough. To satisfy the the fire that he has, and he and 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 listen, man. If the man called the man, if the man called a guy cracker, you better believe that he meant that shit, man. <laughs> All right, don't let no bullshit apology make you think otherwise. He meant that he meant to call him a cracker, man. All right, because he has a uh, um, a spiritual disdain, okay, for for that race, man. All right, it's 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 that's 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 in us, man. All right, and just like um. Uh, Elder Elder Yashawamba from Dallas made a, a, a video some while back talking about how this has to end because this this shit is tacky, man. It's tacky, all right, for us to have, to be forced to uh, uh, um, dwell amongst each other. And I'm not saying that to question um, um, the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. I'm just saying that in in the terms of we're not meant to be mixed and mingled together, man. All right, we're supposed to have our own place. All right, and you heathen supposed to have your own place. All right, and Esau, you you white you white people. All right, your place is to be a slave, man. All right, that's how it's uh, 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 gonna be, man. All right, very very soon. Okay, and but that's gonna come for that's fully established uh, 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 on this earth. All right, you uh, you heathens, man, and you crackers, man. All right, y'all gonna meet uh, um, a certain death. Okay. And if you and if you and if you, because even today, I um, I heard a video segment, okay, um, on Yahoo Finance going into how um, these Americans are buying and people around the world are are buying bunkers, man, to you know a doomsday bunkers for prepping, man. Like you can get a bunker for like thirty, forty thousand dollars. You see, what I'm saying they could hold. The guy said uh, um, roughly up to twenty four people for thirty for like forty k. You can get a bunker to hold roughly twenty people, man. All right, so if you don't die from the the plagues that are to come to to this land, all right, to to America, Babylon the Great, you're gonna get rounded up. You're gonna get put in the fucking slavery, man. All right, and that's and that's that is gonna be the judgment, okay, for all your wickedness that you've done, all right, since since the beginning, man. Okay, and I'm um get this last um precept. It's from the apocrypha. Second Ezra 16. I'm gonna read through this quick for the essence of time. Second Ezra 16 and 35. 
Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. And this is for us, man. All right. These holy words, these holy scriptures are not for you heathens, man. They're not for you so-called white people. They're not for you you heathens, man. This is for the, the Israelites, man. All right. Those whose uh, lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And not just all of our people, but those who uh, uh, seek to get right with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, and seek to live a life in righteousness, man. Okay. Second Ezra 16, 35. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. See, these plagues are coming, man. And like I said earlier, okay, this uh, uh, Antonio Brown calling this guy a cracker, man. All right. And the thing about it, it's already out. All right. Whether what. Honestly, whether it's true or not don't even matter, man. You know what I'm saying? For 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 what I'm getting this ready to say, because the 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 rumor has already went out, and it's already it's gonna it's gonna stir up the people, man. What's gonna stir up the people on uh um with with Edom with Esau? What's gonna stir up the people with Jake? All right. And personally, I believe it's true. Me personally, you see what I'm saying? But just like just like um these Edomites. Have this um this Trump apparel and Trump clothing and, and make America great hats and stuff like that. Don't be surprised if you don't see Jake. <laughs> all right, all right here rocking these uh, Antonio Brown jerseys, man. That might be the the um the the Israelite uh um component of a MAGA hat, man. It's a fucking Antonio Brown black and silver Raiders Raiders jersey, man. You see what I'm saying? Second Ezra sixteen thirty eight, and when a woman with child as it's like as when a woman with child in the ninth month be bringing bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth great pains can pass her wombs womb which pains when the child coming forth they slack not a moment so when up when a woman's getting ready to have that birth and she's in that those final hours man that baby's coming man come hell or high water okay uh, verse 30, uh, 39 even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side so these plagues are coming man all right and this tension between uh different uh na nationalities na nations of people and different nationalities of people is is coming to a head man and this is just a yet another sign of that but this time it's jake you know what i'm saying bringing bringing the pressure man okay and Esau ain't Esau not used to this, man. That's why Esau, you messed up because you're supposed to keep your, your slaves in uh, subjugation, man. Okay, but since Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wasn't with that slavery or that captivity any longer, now you messed up, man. All right, you didn't mess up, man. All right, but it's all according to the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Second Ezra 16 and 40. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready. To thy battle and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So, with us, we got to get our mind right, man. Okay, because um, like the scriptures, like, like the scriptures instruct us, we gotta, you know, be ready and be in the mindset of being pilgrims on earth. Because at any moment, man, things could uh, um, get so tense, man. That we gotta, we gotta shake the scene, man. We gotta just be able to follow the spirit, let the spirit guide us wherever it will. Okay, and Lord willing, you know, we're gonna do that, but. Um, as it's written in the scriptures, there's going to be a certain elect uh, uh, number that will um, take heed to the Holy Spirit given to us by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and will do what they need to do to uh, ultimately be saved. Okay, from all the plagues, everything that's getting ready to hit America and also the world. Okay, so I'm end off with that. I hope and pray this. I hope and pray this lesson was edifying. Once again, call halal wakabad al Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose true and proper name is Yahweh, in the name of the Lord and Savior of, of the nation of Israel, whose true and proper name is Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Dash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles, my elders of great millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honors to my occupation, the word, and true faith, and sincerity across the four corners. Until next time, Shalom.